Indoor tanning is using a device to tan um, to get ultraviolet radiation, UV rays, like from the sun, except it's artificial. So that can be a bed or a booth in a tanning salon or gym or other facility. And indoor tanning is dangerous to the skin. UV rays are harmful. They cause most skin cancers. So it's not safe to indoor tan. And their studies have found that even one session of indoor tanning early in life can um, greatly increase your risk for skin cancer. So there are two ways that um, we're trying to restrict indoor tanning. One is that states are limiting use of indoor tanning, particularly by minors or requiring parental consent or accompaniment. At this point, there are only a few states who uh, don't have this kind of regulation. And then also the FDA regulates indoor tanning, so puts limits on how long uh, people should be in the beds or how frequent they should tan. So there's been a fair amount of research looking at how effective these approaches are and it seems that these approaches are helpful in reducing indoor tanning and protecting the public. So we want to see this continue. We want people to protect themselves by not indoor tanning and helping to educate and motivate their family and friends who might indoor tan, especially young people who, whose skin is more vulnerable to damage. And we can all be advocates as well for ourselves and for the community for public health. So we can talk to our healthcare providers and our legislators trying to encourage them to pass more stringent regulation against indoor tanning to protect our, our family and friends and the public.